Now, your first alert weather with meteorologist Jeff Tenoyer. Jeff, Claudia, and myself forecasting big wins for both teams. Yeah, absolutely. Also uh, hoping for some good weather for those teams today. Got a lot of games going on, so hopefully some sunshine. Yeah, for the Alabama game and for the Auburn game, uh, just a little breezy for both games. And I tell you, that Alabama kickoff at 11 a.m., some of you are probably tailgating already, and you see three of me already. Focus on the one in the middle. There I am. I know tailgating starting at like 6 a.m. in Tuscaloosa this morning for an 11 o'clock kickoff kickoff. What's up with that? Hey, uh, Rita, Rita Wynn. I love chatting with Rita. She's in Mentone. I talk to her almost every morning. She's got a lot of dogs and this is Gracie and they're watching together this morning and Gracie's got the right idea. If I didn't have to be here for the 5 o'clock a.m. show, I put the blanket right back over my head and I'll go to sleep just like Gracie's doing right there. Last week we had Sam on. That's Pam's dog. Pam was out in Florence and uh, yeah, we love your dog pictures. They're great. Athens, what I like right now, I see some clearing sky. Eyes. I see some of the clouds starting to break up a little bit. Not everybody's going to get this quickly into some sunshine, but I do like by mid morning sunshine for just about everybody, which is good news because, oh, by the way, there's a partial solar eclipse today at peaks around noon, and you got to have sunshine. You can't have cloud cover to see it, right? And please wear protective eyewear. Some of you are asking me right now, can I watch it from inside? No, 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 no. no you, know, you look at the sun, you've got to protect the eyes, and a really good pair of sunglasses doesn't cut it. Outside right now, two we had a little sprinkle activity this morning that has all dissipated now and now it's just a matter of clearing things out and taking your temperatures that are in the 60s now getting you up into the 70s before a big drop tonight and tomorrow. Look at all this cold air in the Rockies. Yeah, there was some snow in the northern Rockies earlier this week. That happens often in October, but just shows you how cold the air is. And look at our temperatures for the next couple of days. Way down at the bottom of the screen here. Lots of 60s. These are your high temperatures, not your lows. In fact, the temperature right now is warmer than it's going to be for the entire day on Sunday. We do bump up a bit for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. And that may actually come with some rainfall by the end of next week before we drop again for the following weekend. Your winds are going to pick up today too. Not so much here in the morning, but by about noon, westerly, northwesterly winds gusting 20, 25 miles an hour. That's the air behind the cold front that's barreling through the area this morning, moving to the east as we speak right through the Tennessee Valley, leaving all the rain north, but filling in our area with some wind and cool temperatures. Drought monitor. It's serious. It's up to severe now for parts of the area and likely only going to get worse before it gets updated again by next Thursday because we just don't have much rain in the forecast. You see a few 20% here. That's clouds, drizzle, and cool temperatures for both Sunday and Monday after a sunny day today. And with those winds still gusty for Sunday and Monday, it's going to make it feel like it's in the 50s both days. So clouds out. Sunshine in as we go through the day today. Enjoy. It's the better half of the weekend, certainly the brighter half of the weekend, unless you're into clouds cool and breezy, then Sunday's your thing because clouds build back in tonight and they'll be with us all day on Sunday. A little green shows up, shows a little bit of drizzle here. The temperature's only in the 50s with this forecast graphic. I think a lot of areas are going to get stuck in the 50s tomorrow. A cloudy and cool day on Monday. Then sunshine, brighter conditions, and we'll track that really good chance for rain by the end of next week.